hey what is up everybody my name is rahul and in this video we'll be looking at how you can edit your payloads on the fly with the help of a very powerful tool called burp suite now knowing this technique can help you save a lot of time and a lot of effort so with this let's just begin so here you can see that we have a cookie that helps you stay logged in for a very long period of time so if i were to send this uh, you'll see that this works and we have the username right here but what if i were to just copy it out and let's just copy it and paste it in here and if i were to decode it as base64 you'll see that first of all there is the username which is wiener and the second is a very long string that you might not know what it is but this somewhat looks like hex so either this is hex encoded or this is somewhat a hash so in order to check the hash uh, there is an online utility called crack station wherein you can paste your hash and it'll look up whether this hash exists in an inbuilt rainbow table and as you can see this is the uh, parameter or this is the value that this uh, hash corresponds to so we know that this is the first character this is going to be the first one which is the username and the second is going to be some sort of a string let's just say that this is the password so you can see that there are a lot of things happening right here so let me explain what is typically happening so there is a password which is md5 encoded and then there's a username attached to it and then the entire payload is base64 encoded so first of all you have storing the password finding out the md5 hash of the password which is this step then prefixing the username and colon and the last step would be to base64 encode the entire payload and then send it as a part of the cookie now if you were to do this manually this would take a lot of time and also you can try to accomplish this using programmatic ways for example using scripting languages like bash or uh, python so to say but in cases uh, in, uh, in cases where you want to use burp suit so what you can try to do is just right click on it and click on send to intruder once you have sent it to intruder this is where it will come so let me just uh, add my payloads so I'll click on add here and let me just go to payloads so as of now let's just say uh, these are going to be my payloads like ASDF XYZ OMI and test test one two three now we know that now what we have to do is click on payload processing so let's just select the first rule which is to find out the md5 hash of the password so these are these are my passwords so first of all what i'll do is click on hash and select the hash which is md5 so here is my hash so this is going to be my first step so all of these will happen in a sequential order first of all it will find out the md5 hash so you need to be very particular about how you send out or how you are processing the payloads the second step would be to uh, prefix username so i can click on a uh, prefix which is let's just say wiener and this and we have the prefix right here the last step would be to encode everything so you can click on encode and you have base64 encoded and that's it so first of all what will happen is it'll take one of these payloads each of these payloads find out the md5 hash add this prefix and base64 encoded so let's just see this in action let's just take any request so to say copy this out and discard this paste this in here and once you base 64 decode it you will see that what has happened is you have found you've prepended the username this is the md5 hash and let's just see if this entry exists in here as you can see this did exist and i might have written who am i whami but as you can see this did work so this is what I wanted to explain or accomplish using this video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thank you.